Well, in the northern part of the country, it has been a really wet spring once again. And a lot of farmers, they're just getting fed up with this. It's been 20 years now where we've had pretty wet conditions. Well, at some point you have to say, you know, maybe this is normal. Well, you just never can predict what's gonna happen with the weather, but you have to be prepared for the worst on your farm. Now, if the worst is, you know what, if we get dry, we can just never raise a crop, well, maybe you have to consider irrigation. But in our part of the country, the worst thing is, if we get way too much water, we just can't handle it. And we need to get that water moving out of our field the right way so we don't have big erosion problems. And subsurface drainage tile is the right way to move that water out. So we wanted to talk today a little about tile design because we have so many farmers now that are buying plows. Our prediction is in the next year, in the, just the upper Midwest alone, you're gonna see a thousand farmer tile plows that are purchased, a thousand. So you think about how many miles worth of tiles gonna be going in the ground over the next 10 years. It's unbelievable in the northern part of the country and we need it. It's going to reduce flooding, it's gonna reduce erosion, it's gonna make our water cleaner and better. So there are a lot of advantages and not the least of which is higher yields and more productivity, more food for the world. Okay, so we've got a bunch of farmers that have never owned plows before, yep. maybe have never done any drain tiling whatsoever on their farm and now they're gonna go out there, Brent. How do you design a tile system. Okay. This is the big question. Okay, well the first thing that I always tell guys that are just getting started is take your easiest fields first. Alright, so on our own farm, our farm manager who was running the tile plow, he was so nervous about it when we, we first got our tile plow about four years ago and I said, look Mike, I'm going to make this really easy for you. We're going to start in a nice hilly field. Even if you screw it up, the water still is going to run downhill. You're fine, so don't worry about it. Let me do all the worrying. I'll design it. All you have to do is drive the tractor. Well, that sounds pretty easy, Brand. So you can just design it for everybody then, right? <laughs> yep. So here are just some real simple basic rules. Rule number one, water always runs downhill. Rule number two, water always runs downhill. Okay. As long as your tile lines are running downhill, you're fine. Okay, it's nothing to get that concerned about. You can design a tile system 50 different ways. It's probably all gonna be acceptable. But we do wanna give you some general guidelines that will hopefully make your tile system just a little bit better. Okay, now when we talk about tile, a lot of guys say, you know what, I've never done it before. Do I have to pattern tile? Or can I just put tile where I think I need it? You know, this year, there are a lot of drowned out spots or spots that we had trouble getting into. And you can kind of see in many fields where we really need the tile. Can you just tile those areas or do you have sure. to pattern tile it? Yeah, no, so on our farm, most of the tiling work we've done is just in areas of fields where we thought that we needed drainage improvement. What you want to do though is if you're putting in some of these lines, you'd like to plan out, well, worst case scenario, if I wanted to add some lines, can I do it and how would that work into the whole system? So, in other words, maybe you want to have a slightly bigger line than you really need. In other words, maybe you go from a 4-inch line to a 5-inch line, or from a 5-inch line to a 6-inch line, just to handle future added capacity if you want to go that way. Because think of it this way, you're going to have this tile on the ground for 60 to 80 years, and it'll probably be running effectively most of that time if you set it up right in the first place. So you don't want to short yourself. Spend the extra few dollars in the beginning. Have just a slightly bigger line than you really need. All right, well, let's talk about that line size because you know how much water do you need to get rid of in a day? Do you need to get rid of a quarter inch? Do you need to get rid of a half inch? I mean, that's going to vary, yep. isn't and this it? is this is complete judgment call. So it all depends on what you want to do, and that's where designing a tile system is basically just judgment. And you gain good judgment over years of practice and years of experience, and you can get that again if you start on your easiest fields, you figure stuff out where it's hard to mess it up, and then by the time you get to those hard fields to tile the really flat ones or the ones that even have negative slope for you, you have some experience, you know what to do. But I would just tell you that you don't have to set this whole thing up so you've got a tremendous amount of drainage if you don't want to, but on our farm, what we're usually shooting for is between three-eighths of an inch drainage coefficient and a half inch drainage coefficient. And that just means I can get rid of a half inch of water per acre per day. Now one of the first things that you need if you're going to try and figure out your plan for a field is a topography map. How are most guys generating topography maps? On our own farm we just take information we've gotten off our planter, combine, something like that. It's got RTK GPS so we've got pretty decent elevation maps. The more accurate way if you want to do this is just take a four-wheeler 
put a GPS on there, make sure it's RTK, you will need to have a base station close by, and then you just drive back and forth, back and forth, back and forth across that field, and in an hour or two, you can develop a very nice and very accurate topography map. Well, there are certainly a lot of things to talk about when you're thinking about designing a tile system, but really, it's not that hard. Water no. does run downhill, that's a good rule to follow, mm -hmm. and if you do, the rest of the things will fall into place. We've got more resources on our website as well at agphd.com if you're interested. Yeah, and the other thing is we do put on tile design classes, and we have tiling clinics in the winter and things like that, so if you want some personal attention and advice on some of these things, I mean, just get a hold of us anytime because we really want to help you do it right. It gives all of us farmers a much better name when the tile is designed correctly, so we do have less flooding, less erosion, and we can raise more crop without hurting anyone else downstream. Well, wouldn't it be nice, Brian, if we could just flush our weed of the week right down those tile lines as well. We'll talk about this tough weed coming up next.